Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in today's video, I am going to show you how to remove duplicate values from a cell in Excel. While it's fairly easy to remove duplicates when they are in separate cells, if you want to remove from within the cell, you can use some simple formulas. So if you're using a newer version of Excel, you can use newer functions such as unique and text split. So I'll show you how to do that. And if you're not using a new version of Excel, I will show you how to create your own formula using VBA. So let me show you how it works. So here I have this data set where I have these values in these cells and you can see there are duplicates. So in this cell, I have US that is repeated, Canada is repeated, here a printer is repeated and in this case there, there are names where Ben is repeated and Karen is repeated. So what I want to do is I want to use a formula to only get the unique values and get rid of the duplicates. So to do that I can use some formula. So let me show you how it's done. I'm first going to use the text split function. And this function is going to allow me to split all these names, all these items into separate cells in the same row. So in this case, this is my cell reference that has the text that I want to split. And then I would need to provide the column delimiter. Column delimiter because I want the values in different columns. If you want these values in different rows, then you can use the row delimiter. In this case, I'm going to go with column delimiter. And my delimiter in this case is going to be a comma. And now when I hit enter, you can see it has split these items into separate cells in the same row. But in this case, because I've used comma as the delimiter, you would notice that in this case, in the first US value, it's fine. But if I look at the second US value, you will see that there is a leading space here. So this is not consistent. So to make it consistent, I'm going to use the trim function. And now all the values it gives me, there are no leading or trailing spaces in this data. Now, what I want to do is get rid of these duplicate values, which can easily be done using the unique function. So I'm going to use unique function here. And with unique function, one thing you need to remember is it can give you the unique values, but uh, it by default works when your values are in the same column. But in this case, because we have these values which are in different column, because each cell is in a different column and these values are in a row, I would have to use the second argument which is by call and I would have to make this true. If I do not do this, then this function is not going to work in this scenario because my data is in separate columns. So each cell is in a separate column. So now when I use true here and hit enter, it is going to remove the duplicates and only give me the unique values. And the final thing I would have to now do is combine them. So I can do this using the text join function where first I would have to specify the delimiter. In this case, let's say I want the delimiter to be comma followed by a space character. And then it would ask me, do I want to ignore empty cells? Let's say true. Yes, I want to ignore empty cells. And then it asks me the array that I want to join or the cell reference or the range reference, which in my case would be the result of this unique trim and text split function. So now when I come here and hit enter, it gives me this result, which is exactly what I wanted, where all these duplicate region names have been removed. And I can apply this formula for all these cells. So you can see with this combination of functions, I have been able to quickly remove duplicates from within a cell. Now, there could be a possibility where you have different delimiters. In this case, I only had one delimiter in the, in the example I showed you. But here, in this example, I have different delimiters. I have actually four different delimiters. I have a comma, I have a dash, I have a pipe symbol, and I also have semicolon. Thankfully, I can use the same formula with a very minor tweak to account for all these different delimiters. So let's, let me show you how it works. I'm gonna use the text split function, where this is the text I want to split, then, uh, I need to specify the column delimiter and this is where I'm going to give it all these four delimiters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put curly brackets here and within curly brackets, I am going to put each delimiter in double quotes. So what it's going to do is unlike the previous example where I just had one delimiter, when I put these delimiters in curly brackets, it becomes a list. And this function is then going to use each delimiter while it's processing the data in the cell. So here my delimiters are going to be comma, then I would have the pipe symbol, then I have dash, and then I have semicolon. So I've put all these in double quotes. And now when I hit enter, you can see it gives me all these results. And here you can see I have dash here between Europe and Canada, but it has still worked. And if I copy it down for all these cells, you will see that it works perfectly. So if you have multiple delimiters, you can then use this 
trick of uh, providing them within a list in curly brackets. And now I can just do the same thing. I would first use trim here so that there are no leading or trailing spaces. Then I'm going to come here and use the unique function. And with the unique function, I would have to make sure that I use true as the second argument because my data, my cells are in separate columns. So this now gives me only the unique values. If I copy it down, you'll see that it works nicely. And now I can just combine it using the text join function. And now within text join, the good thing here is because I am giving it a delimiter, my data would now become consistent. So despite the fact that I had a dash here and a pipe symbol here or a semicolon, the result that I get from this formula would have consistent delimiters, which would be a comma followed by a space character. So now if I, yeah, I would have to provide the second argument as true. And the third argument is the result of my formula. And now when I hit enter, it gives me all these results and I can copy it down. So in case you are working with situations where there are multiple delimiters, you can easily use this text split function trick by providing it a list of delimiters. Now, if you're not using newer versions of Excel, you would not have access to these functions. So in that case, you can actually use a very simple VBA code to create your own function. Let me show you how it works. Here again, I have the same data set and I'm going to show you how to create your own VBA custom function so you can remove duplicates from the cell. So I'm gonna use a very simple VBA code and here I have this code here. And I'm also going to give you this VBA code in the description of this video so you can copy it from there. Now I'm gonna copy this VBA code and I'm going to put this VBA code in the backend in Excel. So to do that, I'm going to go to the developer tab here and then click on this Visual Basic icon. And when I do that, it is going to open the Visual Basic editor. You can also do this by using the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. So hold the Alt key and press the F11 key and it is going to open the Visual Basic Editor just like what you see on the screen. Now here, I have these workbooks and the workbook that I'm working with is this one, remove duplicate.xlsm. So I would select any object in this workbook. Then I'm gonna to go to the insert tab here and then click on module. And when I do that, it inserts a module for this workbook and this is where I'm going to paste my VBA code. And this code is very simple, what it does is it creates a scripting.dictionary object, which is a place where VBA can hold values. So this is nothing but a place where an array can be stored. And then within that array, it is going to treat each of these values as a separate item in the array. And then it is going to go through each of them and remove the duplicates and keep the ones that are unique. It does pretty much the same thing that we did with the functions that I, uh, I showed you in the first half of the video. This function is called dedupe cell. So this is the name, I've given this uh, name to this function. You can call it anything you want. So just change it here and here in the end. So you can change this to anything you want. Also, this function takes two arguments. The first one is the cell reference, which is the cell that has the values. And the second one is an optional argument where I've already specified the delimiter as comma followed by space character. So if this is your delimiter, you just need to specify one single argument, which is the cell reference. But if you want to use any other delimiter, then you can specify it as the second argument. So let's see how it works. Here, I'm going to use this function dedupe cells and you can see while I'm typing, it shows this function as one of the Excel functions. So it understands that this is a function that can be used in the worksheet. And now I would simply select this cell reference. And now when I hit enter, it gives me the result and I can copy it for all these cells. So everything, all the calculation, all the heavy lifting is being done by the VBA in the backend and it simply gives you the result. To be honest, even if you have access to these newer functions, you may want to use this VBA function because this is so simple. It only takes one single cell reference as compared to three different functions that I used uh, in the previous example I showed you. In case you have different delimiters, for example, here, my delimiter is this pipe symbol. So I can now use the second cell reference, the second argument in the function. So here, if I use dedupe cells, the first argument is this cell reference. And the second argument is going to be the delimiter that I want to use, which is space character, followed by the pipe symbol, followed by the space character. Now, when I hit enter, it is going to treat the delimiter that I provided as the one to be used in this calculation. And it gives me the right result here. And I can copy it down for all these cells. So you can see, even with VBA, uh, this is so simple and so easy. So again, it's your preference. If you want to use the newer functions, then you can do that. And if you're comfortable with using VBA, then you can use the VBA method. Now, a couple of things you need to know when using VBA is that you will have to save this file as a .xlsm file extension, because if you do not, 
If you do not do that, then your VBA code is going to be lost. So you, you cannot have a VBA code in the .xlsx file. You would have to save this file as a .xlsm file, which is a macro enabled file. So these are the two methods you can use to remove duplicates within a cell in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.